Hello, my name is Jordi from Cinecam.net and recently I've made a short film called Routine in collaboration with Adobe. Now a big part of the short film was sound design as I was unable to record any sounds while shooting. Now everything needed to be added in post-production. And here I'd like to share some exciting tips from. Sound design essentially gives you more depth, more body to a film. So the first thing that I did was make a list of all the sounds that I needed. To make it myself easy, I would first search in online libraries for sound effects. Of course, I couldn't find everything, so that's why I recorded a lot of the sounds separate. And when I'm done, I can synchronize them on my timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, one of the things that you'll often run into is that the sounds do not really match that well. So, what I'm gonna do is open up the Essential Sounds panel, which you can also find from the window menu. Now, with your sound clip selected, you can first assign the type of audio that you're working with. And in this case, it'll be a sound effect. Clicking on it gives you a few options, but I'm the most interested in reverb. Now, with the reverb option, you can give a different tone to your sound to match it better with your shots. Now, don't be afraid to experiment here a little bit as well. What I'm gonna do here is clear the audio type from the button up there, which allows me to select a different category, for example, dialogue. And although this is specifically designed for dialogue, there are actually some very interesting options in here for my sound design as well. For instance, I've got a couple of repair tools, such as reducing noise, but also an option to take away some of the reverb. A little down, we'll also find an equalizer with some very interesting presets that work on sound design as well. For example, does the sound come from outside of the room? And finally is the reverb, and as you will see here, we've got some different presets. For example, church, which is gonna add a very heavy echo. So, using these tools can really help you get the right tone and reverb to your sound. Now, before I'm going to end the video, I'd like to share a little editing hack that I use very often. From the toolbox, take the Rate Stretch tool and use that to stretch out your sound clips. Now, this will change its pitch, creating a more heavy sound. And where I love to use this is with swooshes. Basically, I always use the same swoosh sound every time, but by stretching every swoosh a little bit from each other, they appear to be unique sounds. So these were my tips for sound design in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to check out the other tutorials that I have for you as well. There's a link to the playlist in the description below.